Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Digital Doorway. Today I'm going to be going over another free tool provided by HubSpot, which is the website grader. So if you have a website and you are wondering how you can check the performance of the website, the SEO of the website, the security of the website, then you should put your website to test. And there are a few free tools on the market which you can use to test uh, how your website is performing online. So HubSpot provides a free tool. If I just scroll down over here and underneath this free tools, if I click on website grader, then I will be shown this screen. So I'm going to, it says it grade your website in seconds, then learn how to improve it for free. So I'm going to put in my website URL over here. Okay, digitaldoorway.com and I'm going to put in my email. I'm still working on my website, so I don't think I will get the right results, at least in terms of performance. But I'm sure that SEO wise, I've done some decent job. So I'm hoping that, you know, it'll come out good. So the website grader of HubSpot is running. You can add in any website that you want, and there's no limit to the number of websites that you can test using this free tool. So it's a great tool to use. So here you are, this is the, so it just came out, uh, the results are out in less than 10 seconds. As you can see, digitaldoorway.com. And like I was expecting, the performance is 10 out of 30. And SEO, I'm happy that I've done some good job in SEO, 30 out of 30, I've got full points. Similarly, mobile, my mobile is optimized, 30 out of 30. Security wise also, I'm full. So all in all, my website is doing good while I'm still working on it, it's not completed. So over here again, you will see that is your website slowing you down? Create and manage beautiful website pages that get traffic and convert leads with HubSpot CMS. Hub. So they also provide uh, CMS other than CRM, marketing, sales and service hubs. So if you want to host your website or build your website using HubSpot, you can use their CMS hub. So if I scroll down further, then okay, here they're talking about a free course. So they are offering a free course also on how to improve your website. So you can see or how to optimize your website performance to grow traffic and leads. And this is a free course that you can take. And they're showing the course details, improving the website performance, implementing best practices for SEO, uh, optimization for uh, mobile, making your site safe and secure, creating personalized experiences. So five lessons, 20 minutes, 20 videos, and average length is 15 minutes. So it'll help you in optimizing your website, improving your speed, performance, etc. So they've got some good resources and as usual, they provide always beautiful FAQs, uh, frequently asked questions, it's free or not. So they say absolutely just uh, sharing some good knowledge, free knowledge. So you can take up this course and learn uh, about how to improve your website. Now, this was about HubSpot. If I can come down further down, then you will see under performance, 10 out of 30, the page size is fine page requests, now that's a lot of requests. So I'll have to work on this. Page speed is very low, it's 23 seconds. So it shouldn't be, the page loading shouldn't take 23 seconds, it's very bad. So here they're also showing in how many seconds is the optimal time. If I come down further, browser caching, minimal page redirects is fine. Image sizing, so this is again something which has failed and I need to work on this. Uh, minified JavaScript and minified CSS. Now, as digital marketers, we are not really experts in these kind of things. So uh, you, we are better off in giving it to our website developers, or if you don't have a website developer, then you can um, always reach out to your hosting platform. Uh, if you're going with HostGator or with SiteGround, they help you in uh, identifying and rectifying these kind of issues. As far as image size is concerned, you can use some free tools like Smush of, uh, plugin for WordPress that will compress your images. There are also some free tools and some paid tools also for this image size. If I come to SEO, I'm happy that all of these have made it to green. Uh, indexing, meta description, content plugins, descriptive link tests. So all of those have passed. Next up is mobile, whether it is traffic from mobile devices is growing first, optimizing your website for mobile. So again, uh, legible font size, tab targets, responsiveness. Responsiveness is something which really is a ranking factor as far as Google is concerned. If your mobile is not respond, if your website is not responsive, which means that the screen automatically adapts 
to the screen size whether you're watching the website on mobile or on tablet whichever screen you are watching from it the website automatically uh, resizes itself uh, and is responsive that's called responsive security wise uh, https is enabled and it's secured uh, javascript libraries are protected so that's great so what should i do next uh, so they are giving us some recommendations on what we have to do we can go through these <clears throat> and uh, again we can start the free course and watch the trailer and this is powered by like google lighthouse uh, this whole report now this was about uh, hubspot's free tool now i'll walk you through two or three more tools that will help you uh, that you can also test your website on one of the most popular tools is page speed insights by google developers you'll have to write google page speed it'll help you in identifying what is your page speed and the problems which are with any website now i'm going to click over here i'm going to put in my url digitaldoorway.com click on analyze so it's analyzing it shouldn't take that long usually google uh, page insights is very fast in analyzing the website and grading and putting out the results now apart from google there's another very famous tool called gt metrics now this is another uh, very popular free tool i've written here gtmetrics.com come over here so it's still going on now let's say in gt metrics i'm going to test mcdonald's website i come over here you can put in the search bar you can see over here how fast does your website load find out with gt metrics so it shows how the site performs reveals why it's slow and discovers optimization opportunities so as you can see how many pages they have analyzed so far and it's counting it's just increasing so this is a great website to track and to identify issues with your website and it's completely for free so i'm going to click on test your website so as you can see it's scanning the website and it also shows the test server location it's in vancouver so as this is going on let's go back to um, google page in speed insights so i've got so here it shows the performance on mobile and on desktop so on mobile my website is showing a score of 8 which is very bad like i said it's still on under development it's not completely done and on desktop the score is 33 which is marginally better but still it comes under 0 to 49 the first scale and if i come down further it shows the errors and the opportunities so it's showing over here reduce initial server response time eliminate render block resources removed unused javascript and unused css this is something which is uh, related to website developers diagnostics is also being shown up and my website has also passed 18 audits so prop sizes are properly uh, images are properly uh, sized minified css javascript and all of these have passed the test so i'll have to increase my page speed uh, and work on work more on my website this is as per google page speed insights which is more reliable by the way uh, compared to the website grader website grader does not point out um, every detail as much as the google page insights does let's go back to um, gt metrics so if you see over here i've tested uh, mcdonald's website which is the us website so they have given a grade of d and performance is 53 percent and structure is 92 percent so if you see over here you will see all of these tabs speed visualization if i come to performance then they are showing the first contentful paint one second time to interactive is two so it's pretty good over here so speed index is three seconds and if i go to structure then they will show all the structure elements waterfall uh, video history so it shows it identifies the problem this might look a bit technical to you guys because you may not be familiar with these kind of terminologies uh, content delivery network is something which is really a powerful uh, tool cdn uh, so there are some errors which are showing over here but this is something which digital marketers also don't need to know as digital marketers 
your job is to find out the is issues and send these kind of reports to uh, your uh, website developers you can share this report you can click over here and send it by email to your website developer and they will look into these issues and try to resolve them so once they have resolved you can come back to the website put in your url once again test it again run it and then see how it how much it increases and then if it doesn't increase then you can always go back to your website developer and say that hey look nothing is improved so far so uh, another tool very famous for seo is uh, sem rush i'm on their website semrush.com slash site audit and i've run my website unfortunately there's a limit to the number of websites that you can test so i've just paused this one for now so as you can see they have crawled 20 pages and my site health is 86 percent which is good uh eight errors 329 warnings http is 99 percent um site performance is uh 87 percent so it's doing a decent job you can always rerun the campaign and uh, subdomain crawl and all of these are there but this is something you can test your website on four different domains four different websites and and compare the results and see what are the common errors that are being shown or common um, uh, things that are passed so the first one you can use is uh, the free tool of hubspot website grade website dot grade dot com second one is very popular developers dot google dot com slash speed third one is gt metrics and fourth one is site audit uh, sem rush there are a lot more tools like um, similar web and all of those but uh, you can only run your website on so many tools and i think running it and testing it on four tools is more than enough for me uh, so i hope you like this video uh, if you have any comments please leave it in the comment section and guys please subscribe to my website hit that bell icon so that whenever i publish any web any new video you get to see it first. Thank you and goodbye.